Hi, I'm Lori Petoskey with Ruger Firearms. I'm down here in Melbourne, Florida with Don Hampton of H&H &H Gator Hunts. I'm here for my first big game animal hunt, and I plan to take a couple alligators using the Ruger American Rifle in 243. So Don, what can we expect when we head out into the field? Well, today is gonna to be nice weather. We're gonna see a lot of alligators, a lot of activity, a lot of wildlife, a lot of birds down here this time of year. And uh, most of the time when you see the alligators swimming this time of year, they're trying to warm their bodies up. So you'll see them raise their back up, which is good. It helps us judge the size of the alligator the more that we can see of him, obviously. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, all we're gonna see is the tip of his nose and his eyeballs. So you're not gonna have a real big target. No, it sounds like it's gonna be pretty challenging. It is, very challenging. It's a lot of fun, though. This is my first time taking an alligator. What do I need to know about shot placement? That's a good question. I'm gonna show you on this alligator head right here. Depending on how his head's turned, it's gonna dictate where you need to aim. If he's turned like this, you're gonna to wanna to find that eyeball sticking up out of the top of the water. Just find the far eyeball and aim a little bit low. You want to get right in this area here where his brain is. Okay? If he's turned at a 90 degree angle, you'll find that eye, come right behind it. Okay. Okay? If he's looking straight at you on these medium sized alligators, you can shoot him right between the eyes. That 243 will have enough power to it to crack that skull and drive him down. I can tell I'm going to need to do my job as a marksman. Right, you are. I'll do everything I can to put him in front of you. Then it's between you and Mother Nature. <laughs> All right, Lori, we're going to ease down the side of this pond right here on this levee. We're going to be glassing with the binoculars looking out, you know, maybe 100, 200 yards. Hopefully we'll see some way down there. We can get out of the truck, slip down the edge of the levee, and do a spot and stalk on them, get you in a good position to take a shot. But you also have to be ready because at any given time, we might scare one off the bank if that happens, he's going to go out probably 15, 20 yards and then pop up and we'll have to shoot from inside the truck. We're not going to be able to open the doors or get out or anything like that. And it's ha going to happen kind of quick. So we don't want to scare him away, I take it. Right. He's already, you know, on high alert because we've spooked him off from the shoreline. Matter of fact, I think there goes one right now. Okay, there he is. You can see him? See him out there? Yeah. It's probably about 25 and 30 yards right there. So I shoot from in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to shoot because if you open the door, it's going to scare him. Okay. okay. Let, me, let me raise your window up. Tell me when I get it right. How's Can you that? go down a bit? Okay. See? Yeah, that's much better. That's it? Okay. Mm hmm. Anytime you're ready, just take a breath and squeeze it off. There you go. Nice shot. Good deal. Good deal. All right, put the safety back on. Raise that barrel up. Oh, yeah. Nice job. That was a good shot. All right. Heck yeah. Oh, buddy. He went quick. That's what we want. Awesome job. That was fantastic. Thank my you. Oh, I'm excited. Now my heart is racing. Oh. <laughs> that was great. It's exciting. Huh? Aww. Big moment. Yay. Big moment. Like falling in love. Sometimes it happens faster than you know. Right? <laughs> right behind the eye, right? <laughs> <laughs> I really get like to be a whatever player. works you gotta do something with them <laughs> yeah illing today was a good day i just successfully completed my very first hunt you were fabulous you executed everything that we've been working on in that hunter prep class you were precise with your shot which you really needed to be for this kind of it animal. was a challenging shot you had a very small target i was intimidated by that but i just tried to remember everything we worked about I knew it was going to be a difficult shot but i just tried to focus on everything we talked about in our classes you were calm you were cool you executed your follow-through which we've been talking about and in the excitement of a first animal it's kind of hard to remember all that stuff you have you to fight so well. every urge to look and see how well you did and if you took that animal down right away but i had to remember 
you have to follow through. You have to be ready to take a second shot in case you needed to. That's right. But I want to say that I'm so impressed with your one shot to get this gator because it's such a small, small aiming area. So you were really focusing on that reticle. I'm really proud of that. I wanted to come into this with good enough skills that I could be a safe ethical hunter. I didn't want to leave any animal wounded and I'm really proud that I was able to take this animal with one shot. Illing, thank you so much. I don't think I would have been able to do this hunt without your help. Oh, Laura, you were fantastic and I am so honored to be a part of your first hunt. Don't forget to check out Ruger.com. We have a wide variety of videos that can help anyone become a better shooter. But don't forget, these videos can never replace real world training. So take a class. Good luck and safe shooting.